What's going on everyone? It's your boy Mystic and I didn't really know what kind of video I really wanted to make today because I know I haven't really been active on my social medias um, in a very long while. Not specifically this channel. I mean on Instagram, you know, Twitter, I'm pretty active there, but here I've been pretty inactive and I was trying to like think of something what like before the music video comes out, I was trying to think of any like more videos I wanted to like really produce on this channel. Cause I'm not gonna lie, like after the whole Kendrick Lamar video, I was I've left a, I was left uninspired of like what I really wanted to do with this channel. Cause of course the the thousand subscribers is excellent, and I really appreciate everyone who you know liked the video, who commented on the video, viewed it, shared it, and you know at the time when the whole not like us song was coming out, you know I'm hoping that you know the the dance and everything that I did, you know helped y'all days get better and stuff. But today. I really just kind of wanted to go on um just kind of like a, just a topic rant i guess and i really wanted to just kind of spread my uh, my experience on it um that you used to read the title that it is okay for certain things to end it is okay for friendships to end it's okay for certain artists to go on hiatus or probably never make music again it's okay for people to die it's okay for your life situation or your life career your goals your job where you live or just anything in general whether it's a book or a video game or a movie or a show or anything it's okay for those things to end one thing about when I was younger is I always wanted things to continue on when you're a kid you know you always get like a rush of adrenaline you get a rush of dopamine you get a rush of you know things just being on constant motion over and over and over again that you just want things to continue to keep happening it's like a sugar rush you know the more you eat candy the more you drink juice and all of this stuff like the more your system is going to get rushed up and oh my god like i'm more energized to do more things but eventually everything has to have a crash everything has to have a come down just like how you smoke weed and how you drink or whatever or whatever you you know decide to partake in or if you're just sober but just to say for the you know for the potheads out there or for the people who we like you know who are um, who like to drink a lot you know there's only an amount of Hennessy that you can put on your body before you start really crashing out and, you know, you black out and you start throwing up and then the next day you have a hangover. Um, I don't care how much bottles of Patron or bottles of tequila or whiskey or whatever your, you know, um, your drink, of your, your preferences or shoot, even when you, you know, get high or whatever, you know, it's for that moment. It's for like this euphoric trance like transcending space to just you know be free and, and just kind of like not care about anything that's happening around your surroundings but eventually you have to come down from it you have to fight your demons you have to face reality you have to you know wake up in the morning go to work go to your job or you know fulfill whatever responsibility that you have to do today you have to eventually get down from that eventually and you know also too like it's a very you know um you know kind of like utopian like in a way in a sense because i feel like too sometimes people wish that we could just kind of escape from the pain that we can just escape from you know like that we could just continue to just keep on going with life just keep on going and going and going but like i feel like too sometimes like things need to have a rest just like with music right music when it comes to classical music they have a rest you know when you're playing the violin and you're you know you know pushing out the notes on the on the horn or on the saxophone or trumpet whatever type of uh instrument that is you're choosing eventually the music has to have a rest there has to be an intermission there has to be some type of like intermission that that's happening um, in order to kind of break away from all the, because eventually you're not you're, you're not going to get everything in one go if you continue to keep going you know what i'm saying it's like a play where you're on the broadway and you know you see so many people like you know jumping and you know like you know singing their voices out acting their voices out rapping you know being do being a, a, a performance art for the audience but eventually you know uh, things have to get a rest everything has to kind of come into a conclusion everything has to literally simmer down because a lot of because our brains do not register 
everything that is happening to, like the, the brain can't compute like if i put the lights and then i put you know someone dancing and then like it's overstimulating you know like everything becomes so much that you can't even appreciate the the literal thing that is being presented in front of you so eventually you have to just break away from all of the just the amount of stuff that's happening in your in your vicinity um you know, even like, you know, when I was a teenager as well, too, like there were certain people who rapped and I was like, yo, like, I wish they never stopped rapping. Like, as a kid, like, I wish they never stopped rapping. I wish they never stopped making music. And then, you know, I realized, you know, shoot, my favorite rap, uh, rapper, XXXTentacion, passed away. And, you know, there's going to be things that's also, too, that's out of our control. And it's like, man, like he was only 20 when he passed away. And, and that's something that, you know, shoot, not not everyone was expecting, you know what I'm saying? And it was a pretty tragic day, but, you know, as the years go on, you know, you got to start having, like, you, you start having a different perspective on how you look at life. The more you get older and the more wiser you get and the more you start to go out there and start to experience stuff, you start to realize, you know, like, yeah, Ja is dead right now. And, of course, we would want him back. Anybody, you know, who was really a big fan of him would love XXX and toss on to be back just like how people would want mac miller back or how they would want juice world back or michael jackson or you know rich homie kwan or fat man scoop or earl uh, carl earl jones or uh, tito jackson or any somebody that had you know recently passed away or you know uh kobe or um what's it called chad with bozeman somebody that you know that uh, an idol or an icon that you really that inspires you over and over and like through their acting or through their movies or scenes eventually their lives are going to be cut short and sometimes we don't really know how to process or really how to really register those emotions but also too that you know we all have to kind of cherish the moment while we are still here because i can literally die today like right now like at, while i'm making this video or even after i upload it i could literally die god forbid but I'm saying anybody could literally have their demise and they, their life cut short from them immediately. And of course, we are going to feel a really deep sadness about it as well, too. But there is a beauty around also life ending as well, too. Sometimes maybe they're going through cancer or they're going through some type of mental war. And of course, you know, you would want to live a life a little bit longer or a lot longer to kind of figure out what your life mission or like to battle those demons so that way you really get the full picture but sometimes too death is like you know and also a thing where and i know death is very uncomfortable to talk about at times because again no one wants to think about death but when it happens it's like it's like a rest on that human soul it's a rest on that on that person's spirit and then you know you know whatever you believe in whether they're going to hell or they're heaven but you know they're in a ton an internal slumber they're they're in a ton uh, eternal slumber they're going to just be sleep and they don't have to worry about the lie, like the, the, the destruction or they don't have to worry about the corruption of society anymore. They don't have to worry about any of all this shit anymore. Da, 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 da. Certain things, it's OK for them to just be dead. Like it's OK for things to just end. And, and you know, of course, we want like but also, too, you can live through them. You can, you know, be inspired by them. And also let, you know, know that, oh, you know, this artist was my favorite or th this rapper, or this actor was my favorite. And you can carry on their spirits, you know, as they rest peacefully because, you know, tra like energy transfers. And, you know, I feel like uh, what a lot of the arts, the people that I just mentioned, they brought a lot of energy through their craft or through their music or through their movies. So in a sense, they're not really dead. It's just obviously their physical realm, like being in the, them being in the physical realm. Obviously, they're not with us, but their talent and their art and what they contributed to the world is going to persist on. So in the sense, like they are not really dead. And again, people got to just like really just take that into consideration. That it's like, yo, like even if it's the end, it's OK to be to accept the end. It's OK to, you know we all have to kind of like eventually get over we all have to eventually grieve and then get back to it because the world and life doesn't wait for anybody just like you know in your favorite book sometimes we 
we, there's a time where like you're reading your favorite book, right? And you're just on that, that particular chapter. You're on that, that page where you see that you don't have a lot of pages left. And you're just like, damn, the book is about to end soon. Like, damn, I'm a little bit sad that the end's good. But you got to finish it. You got to finish it. Otherwise, like you're going to, you know, deprive yourself of a good time. You're going to deprive yourself of what's going to happen next. All right, and you sometimes you're just like, all right, that was a great book. I can't wait for the author to write another book. And sometimes maybe that book was their final, that, 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 the, the final thing that they published. That's their final book book and you're just like damn why did they finish it like man i want them to continue to go into the like i'm not gonna like stop somebody to you know you know uh if they want to finish their project or if they want to finish their craft that's how they want at least then like so, see the thing is with death it's unexpected like sometimes we we don't expect it and of course if you see somebody that's going to like obviously talk to them obviously be a support system of it right like when certain things like that happens like unexpected things happen listen it happens it's unfortunate, but eventually we all have to move on. When it comes to things like this, when it comes to, you know, how the the author or the artist in question, how they choose to end their career, like, at least they get to end it on their terms. And you don't have to like it, but you can definitely respect it. You can definitely understand, oh, wow, like, I respect this artist for ending or this author for ending their chapter of their artistic career on this path. Like, even if I don't understand it, or I don't get it. Or some people who will understand it and get it and be like, oh my God, like, oh, wow. Like that was very profound. Like that was a very fantastic way to end off that chapter. Like people are going to have their perceptions. They're going to have their perspective and they're going to have their own theories on how they think it should end it. Or, you know, they get the overall meaning of what the author was going for. And sometimes, again, it's, it's sometimes art, it doesn't have to always be like right into your head. It doesn't, like, it doesn't have to like be like jammed and, and you know, like into your head sometimes it's left into interpretation and interpretation is the most beautiful things that art can honestly provide because it, it provides like a way of just like closure uh for that person's mind who you know had to follow that artist or you know that author for a very long time same thing with a movie in a certain scene like when you see like everybody saying their goodbyes or you're seeing i don't know a, a sad ending or, or, or a good ending or, or whatever a, a neutral ending you know, certain endings, like, I also like that, you know, I appreciate those endings because, like, you get to see different views, you get to see different perspectives of how those things could have potentially ended for our character or for our antagonist. Same thing, like, when you're playing a video game, like, you maybe have an option to see the bad and the good ending, and you're just like, oh, wow, like, there's so many ways to for things to kind of go this way or go that way so like you know it's it's, a, it's also important too to just choose wisely on like you know the people that you surround yourself with or the people that you know you set you surround you like the, the the decisions that you make in life it's it's always important because they're they're gonna you know have an outcome of whether you know you tend to you know go this way in life and hey as long as i like i was able to achieve this like i can at least die with this in my conscious and if, you know, I choose this way, if I want to, you know, do drugs or I want to like, I don't know, um, go on a, a spree and, and just cause destruction, like, hey, like, that's your ending. That's how you want to write your chapter. But just know, like, you're not going to, it's not going to be the, like, some people's endings are different. You know what I'm saying? Some people want to live a fulfilling ending and some people want to live a downfall ending. But whatever ending it is, an ending is an ending. And sometimes it's, we got to, there are times where you're not going to control of like how people are going to like write their own endings but you can control how you write your own ending right you know i know a lot of people who are watching and they want to have great lives they want to have a great job they want to have a wife a kids live long and then they die sometimes that's people's endings that's sometimes that's a basic ending some people want to die and and, uh, and maybe or i don't know they want to do so many things they have a bucket list of how, the, the places they want to go the, the things they want to do and, and people the way they want to see and things they want to try out eat foods they want to try out places they want to see until they die and sometimes they sometimes people get to do that they get to see their favorite artists they get to you know experience all the things until their clock eventually runs out and sometimes people just don't get to see that at all and unfortunately people live that kind of sad ending where they just kind of rot and die but i think sometimes with that again endings kind of give you a different the point the, the point i'm trying to say is endings just give you a very interesting way of just how you 
look into your own self because sometimes it can give you perspective of how you choose you need to live your own life and sometimes it's again okay to just say goodbye to certain things that do sir that don't serve you anymore and certain and sometimes it's okay to accept those things even if you don't understand it right now and sometimes it's okay to go this way because whatever decision you make it's not your it's, it's it, like it's gonna have consequences here but it's never your bad it's never a bad decision because you're the one that made it. as long as you feel comfortable with the decisions you make you can never be wrong like and I think sometimes when we look at how people live their lives, we can kind of judge off of how we want our lives to be and whatever ending that we decide to have, you know, it will either be fulfilling or it will either be kind of pitiful. Who knows? But still, there's a beauty in endings. And the last thing that I want to talk about as far as things endings are relationships, because eventually friendships, relationships, partnerships, all of those things, when you graduate, when things have to take a, a bow Sometimes it hurts. Sometimes a girl cheated on you. Sometimes a your man, you know, I don't know, cheated on you or whatever happened in the relationship that caused y'all to break apart. Of course, it, it's going to hurt. I've been in plenty of situationships. OK, before I was able to really, you know, get into myself and realize, you know what? I don't need any of that shit because it's a waste of goddamn time. One thing about the how things, you know come together and how things start is that there's a beauty in you know also you know in, in in the beginning where you're just kind of doing going through the puppy love like you know the honeymoon phase oh you guys love each other or whatever and then you know eventually whatever happens whether a man comes into their lives or a woman comes into their lives or they got to move or you know they got more they, got, they like their lives situ like their life situation kind of you know they have to kind of prioritize certain things in order for for their uh, goals to be achieved, you know, whatever happens, that relationship either breaks apart completely or it gets distant or it slowly but surely it just binds out and it just kind of like, you know, flutters away. Whatever the case may be, sometimes it is hard to register why certain people leave, uh, leave our lives. They might tell you straight up that, hey, like you're not a good person to be around or you're not a good person to you know surround my i'm not a, you're not a good person that i like to surround myself with or you know i need to take time for myself whatever but just know that it is okay for it to end you don't have power of how people choose to write their own endings it goes back to what i was saying it's like how people want to live like like some people want to have bffs forever and you know have those friendships and other people they don't want to have those friendships and again you can't control of how people want to write their own endings or write their own stories that's their story you can just either move on and respect it or go on this complete tantrum of just being like why don't you let me and like because you know we all desire that like uh, we all crave human interaction we all crave in uh relationships because we all don't want to die alone or it's in hell maybe some people want to die alone who knows right this is all the point of the video um but just know that um it is okay to feel hurt and feel betrayed when you have invested so much time and energy and probably even money whatever the case may be emotionally mentally spiritually financially into this person and then all of a sudden it just feels like you're doing everything wrong no, know that it's not your fault. Know that, you know, again, the, the, the side, depending on how the situation is and that, depending on how what you did or whatever, whatever, you can't not force anybody to stay with you. You know, people are in your lives for seasons. Things are in your life for a season. When you like a song, that's in your life for a season. Or shoot, maybe if it's in your life forever. Certain songs have their, you know, chewing gum aesthetic um, or they have their, their rubber band type of thing for a little bit and then people just move on from it and they don't really care or talk about it anymore it's all about again how what you can you know how you choose to react to it and how you choose to kind of you know go about the situation on your own terms so realize that endings are okay it's okay things break apart but at the end of the day when they do break apart how do you stay you know how do you keep yourself together when people leave you? You know, do, were you depending on that person? Were you depending on that book? Were you depending on that movie to keep you at bay? Now that's over. You don't know what else to do. Maybe sometimes those things ending is a sign for you to kind of get 
yourself together. And many times that experience is a learning lesson for you to also get your life together and figure out how you want to choose your ending and how you want to choose to live the rest of your life and what you want to do and the people you want to hang around with. Sometimes we have to experience the good and the bad and the bad and the good in order to get to however whatever conclusion we want to set for ourselves so that's why certain things happen in our lives that's why certain obstacles are in our lives that's why god puts certain people in our lives and sometimes we don't really realize the good intentions or the bad intentions of that person until we really see them for who they are and then when we really see them for who they are they're like oh wow this is good and then you know when you they eventually break apart like you get hurt but it's like at least you get to live another day. At least you get to see another day and you get to deter yourself of who you want to become out of this, uh, in this lifestyle, in this this thing we call life. So yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. Um, I hope that this video was helpful for anybody who think was going through a breakup or going through something really tragic or anything like that or it feels a little bit lost because maybe somebody broke your heart or something like that just know it's okay for those things to end um it's okay for people to move on it's okay for people to you know not be stuck in their ways and feel like that they need to do something else but just know it's not your fault and just know that don't be so hard on yourself take this as a lesson to learn and grow and know that uh, eventually it'll get better and eventually you will be around people eventually you know that do care about you and that do love you and that do you know interest you but just okay just know that it's okay for it to end you'll be okay it's okay for that artist to end their book it's okay for that artist to end their album it's okay for that you know movie or that book to end. it's okay it's okay for certain things to end now how do you want your story to end how do you want your story to, to continue to be that's on you so thank you goodbye